Gone, bring it up to allow you. the Spitfire 5, the Sea Hurricane, and the Avro 19 Anson. Otherwise, we have a very full program, and what we need is this. Can't say it's the king, you can see it reads, you'll see it all the better when it flies past in the other direction. This was a Miles aeroplane, and Freddie Miles was we watching for the DH-88 Comet running in from the right. Um, but um, Edgar Percival, who flew the Bucock, used to wear it shortly after. Well, that's from the then newly opened RAF Milton Hall in Suffolk to Melbourne, Australia. using the crosswind runway here, or the cross runway, which is actually into wind at the moment, and as well as minimising the need for the crosswind, again, it's avoiding cutting up the grass as the Bristol fighter uh, rolls gently to a standstill. No brakes, of course, fixed tail skid, and uh, the minimum of wear. And followed off by the aeroplane's predecessor in Nicknamed the Parrot. Actually, it's quite interesting. It's gained one or two nicknames. The Parrot was one. The one I loved actually was the nickname was given at Kenlo, just up the road here, where it was based for many years. Kenlo Close. So literally just a few miles down the road. And it's now based in When the train is more, that because the crosswind was out of limits at Oakington.
Yes, it was Wheeled Aviation who performed the uh, return to flight. It uh, made its maiden hovers a couple of days before Christmas 2021. And its first proper flight on the 14th of February 2022. And this is the same as in the public venue in Sibylle and Hands. Enemy guns finding it hard to offset their sighting against such a slow moving target. Lieutenant Commander Eugene Esmond being awarded the Victoria Cross for his heroism during those actions. That being one of just two BCs awarded to Fleet Air Arm Air crew members during the whole of the Second World War. So they into that rear cockpit. As you can see, it is not for the faint-hearted to climb into a cockpit with the engine running in a swordfish. And 
they stayed on the RAF front line until 1941. And this aeroplane was actually years on it still works. <laughs> A little bit recalcitrant on the average 5 OK front there, the uh, normal burst back to full power when the uh, rotary engine comes on. businesses was among the many companies to build triplanes for use on the front line during World War I. over the Somme and the Western Front. Maintained it for the rest of the war. Thank you. 
hear it there, you can hear the distinctive sound of the wind in the wires, the sound of the wind going through the flying wires of the SE5A as it came in on final coverage. Feet up there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can hit, get them to hear us from all the way down here. One big ladder around there. They'll attach together by locking their legs in between the lines of one another, and then they'll climb down so that their faces this is where two people are sitting on top of the third canopy on either side of it, and it's in the shape of a T. Also, right up a big round of applause for Shorty. And we've got Lance Corporal Louis Cuddy. Lance Corporal Danny Watson. Next up, we've got our team cameraman, Corporal Ollie Goss. And jumping the big flag today, we have Corporal Stephen Hanley. And the two jumping smaller flags, we have Corporal Richard Kingston. Gentlemen, thank you for having us here today. Can we get one final round of applause for the display team today, the Red Devils?
an English electric ram. I guess the day you know. I need to look. Well, we'll see. A few years ago, the only way we got off the ground here was by launching it with a bungee. Let's see whether we can get it airborne today. Once you get clear of the ground, you lose the drag off the still wet grass. And that would actually help. So let's see whether it will get fast enough to get the flying strength. This is a very sensitive operation, made a little easier in recent times by some work done on the ABC power plant a few years ago, since when it's been able to perform rather fuller flights than had hitherto been the case. 